Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about solving equations transformable to quadratic equations. And here are three examples that we will talk about within this video. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In this kind of topic, may encounter mo dito ay yung mga equations that it seems like at first glance ay hindi sila mo kang quadratic equation. Pero along the way, while doing the thing or simplifying the equation, it will lead you to a quadratic equation. And after that, we will try to solve it using the different methods on how to solve quadratic equations. So let's start with example number one. In example number one, we have x times x minus 4 is equal to 60. As you can see, hindi siya mukhang quadratic equation. Tama? Pero, we can use distributive property, remember ha, to use distributive property whenever you are dealing with this kind of equation. You will multiply the outside term to the inside, ter inside term 1 by 1. x times x is x squared. As you can see, this one is a quadratic term. So, malapit na tayo sa quadratic equation. Then, x times negative 4. We have minus 4x. Then, equal to 60. So, after using the safety property for us to solve this using factoring, we will transpose 60 to the other side of the equation. This positive 60 will become negative 60. So, our new equation is x squared. Minus 4x minus 60 is equal to 0. Now, since naka standard form na siya, we can perform factoring. So, what are the factors of this? Okay, let's think about this. What do you think? What are the factors of 60, guys? That will give you the answer of negative 4. So, let's prepare. Okay, the factors of 60 are negative 10 and 6. So the factors are x minus 10, x plus 6 is equal to 0. And solve each factor by 0, x minus 10 is equal to 0. Then we have x plus 6 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side, as well as this positive 6, it will give you x is equal to positive 10 and here x is equal to negative 6 now for the sake of this example we will try to do checking we will try checking if our answer is correct okay using the same equation x times x minus 4 this one is not required eh? ano lang naman to um Ginagawa natin to to check whether the solutions are correct. So we will plug in 10. It will become 10 times 10 minus 4 is equal to 60. Then 10 times 10 minus 4 is 6 is equal to 0. Uh, 60. 10 times 6 is 60. So are they equal? Yes. Ibig sabihin tama to. Next we will plug in negative 6. We have negative 6 times negative 6 minus 4 is equal to 60. Negative 6, ito naman ay negative 10 is equal to 6. So negative 6 times negative 10 is positive 60. So are they equal? Yes. Meaning, the solution which is negative 6 is also correct. Okay? So we are done with example number 1. Now, let's move on to example number 2. For example number 2, meron agad tayong square dito. Pero syempre, medyo mahirap to para sa, mga, sa ibang students natin. We have x plus 1 square plus x minus 8 square is equal to 45. Basically, we need to expand this. Okay? Itong x plus 1 square natin is the same as x plus 1 times x plus 1. Pero, syempre, uh, kailangan natin gamit ng medyo mabilis na solution. Ito yung pattern na gagamitin natin. We have x plus y square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. You can use this, ha? 
So, paano ba natin na-expand to? To expand this into a perfect square trinomial, itong first term natin x, e square mo lang. So, you have x square. Next, para makuha mo itong second term, multiply the two terms, x times 1 is x, then always multiply it by 2. So, x times 1 is x times 2, that is plus 2x. Followed by square your second term. 1 square is plus 1. Ito na expanded form na ito. Ito naman. First term, is square mo lang siya. x square. That is x square. For the second term, multiply x times negative 8. That is negative 8x times 2. That is negative 16x. Square mo yung second term mo, negative 8 square is positive 64. Then equal to 45. So after that, combine like terms. You can combine this. Pwede mo ito combine eh. Ito, saka ito. And that is 2x square. Ito naman, negative, uh, 2x tapos negative 16x. That is simply minus 14x while 1 plus 64, yung dalawang to, is plus 65, is equal to 45. Ngayon, standard form natin. Transpose natin si 45 to the other side of the equation. It will become 2x squared minus 14x plus 65. Tandaan, from positive, it will become negative 45 is equal to 0. Combine these two, you have 2x squared minus 14x. Dito magiging plus 20 na lang yan. 65 minus 45 is equal to 0. And as you can see, pwede natin simplify yung ano, or i-reduce to. Kasi 2, negative 14, saka 20, para pala siya divisible by 2. We can divide the whole equation by 2. Para mas maging simple, 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared na lang. Negative 14x divided by 2 is negative 7x. 20 divided by 2 is plus 10. Then, 0. So, ito na ngayon. As you can see, meron tayong quadratic equation dito. Ito na. Simple quadratic equation. Factor it out. So, 10 natin maging negative 7. The factors are x minus 5, x minus 2. Then, dali natin dito yung solution natin. Equate both factor by 0. Okay? x minus 5 is equal to 0. And the other is x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, what's next? Transpose this to the other side. It will give you x is equal to 5. This is the first solution. Transpose this to the other side x is equal to positive 2. This is your second solution. Okay guys, hindi natin siya check guys para medyo hindi sobrang haba na ating video. So, it seems like complicated, but along the way, if you master this expansion, then manipulation of equation, then solving equations, it will lead you to a perfect solution. Now, let's continue with item number 3. For item number 3, we have this one. This one is a rational equation. Okay? Rational equation na madadala natin into quadratic equation. So, medyo mahirap siya sa unang tingin guys, ha? Tandaan. We have here x over, uh, 3 over x. We have 3 over x plus this is x plus 2 over 5 is equal to Two. So the question here, paano ba natin siya solve Guys. Okay? So solve natin. Una, yung LCD ang problema natin dito. So you can see, the LCD is x and 5, dito may gain 1. So simply lang, kapag ganti yung LCD natin, a variable and a number, simply multiply them na lang. ba? So that is, your LCD is 5x. So what will happen is that you will you will multiply the whole equation by 5x 
or gamit yung ating LCD. So let's try and multiply. Multiply this. It will become 5x times 3 over x. Numerator to numerator lang naman. Next, 5x to this term plus 5x ulit times x plus 2 over 5. Ito naman, multiply natin 5x times 2. So, as you can see, ang pinaka-purpose talaga ng LCD natin, whenever we are multiplying, is para matanggal yung denominator. Kasi yun ang talaga pinaka-problema dyan. Ito, cancel natin tong x natin. We can cancel out, at, cancel out x and x. So, it will become 5 times 3, which is 15. Here, we can cancel out 5 and 5. So, meron na lang tayo ngayon dito, itong x times x plus 2. So, multiply natin. x times x is plus x square. X, ti x times 2 is plus 2x is equal to 5x times 2, that is 10x. Ngayon, manipulate natin yung equation. We can write down first x square, followed by 2x, and then transpose natin si 10x sa kabila magiging negative 10x, then plus 15 is equal to 0. Combine these two, you have x squared minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. Factor it out. Dating ko na dito eh. The factors are x minus 3, then x minus 5 is equal to 0. Kasi, negative 8 to, positive to. So, negative 5 times negative, ah, uh, negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. Negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. Equate each factor by 0. x minus 3 is equal to 0. x minus 5 is equal to 0. Again. Okay. Transpose this. x is equal to 3. Then, ito naman, transpose natin dito x is equal to 5. And that's it, guys. Yan yung mismo solution natin. The solutions are 3 and 5. So, you can do the checking by plugging in these two values, uh, one by one, eh, dito. And kapag nag equal sila, meaning you're correct. Okay? So, I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to solve equations transformable to quadratic equations. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!